the Ferrari SF24 proves to be a solid car. On the second day of the 2024 Formula One preseason testing session at the 5.412 km Bahrain International Circuit located in Sakir, Bahrain, the Italian single-seaters excelled on the timing charts both in the morning and the afternoon when Carlos Sainz fitted the soft C4 tires. Beyond the absolute performance value, the prancing horse's car appeared very consistent in long runs, a reassuring dynamic even if the quality level of the times is yet to be verified. For Ferrari, it's not yet time for comparisons with the competition, but rather with themselves, as too many variables exist to define the values on track in sessions that also take place under changing environmental conditions. Nevertheless, 12 months later, faces at Ferrari seem decidedly more relaxed, recalling how the SF23's performances were a cold shower for the drivers and engineers of the historic Marinello team before the start of the previous F1 campaign. The inevitable mishap due to bad luck that struck the red car while Charles Leclerc was at the helm could not be missing. The covering element located at the curb entrance of Turn 11 was lifted by the passage of Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes W15. The repair operations forced the race direction to conclude the morning session when there was just under two hours left. The mishap required the replacement of the floor on SF24 number 16. However, Charles and his colleagues were able to make up for the time spent by the circuit's maintenance in securing the entrance area of the Fast Turn 11, as the International Federation decided to grant extra time. The Monegasque driver stated in front of the microphones that, as every year it's too early to understand the potential of the red car compared to the competitors. Too many variables and different work programs do not allow for a precise definition of the balance of power. The good news is the car's drivability judged to be significantly better compared to last year. Charles recalled how difficult it was to take a direction in 2023 because they did not understand the SF23's behavior. The SF23 would enter a corner and have extreme oversteer or understeer, which was a big problem. This year the car is not like that, which is a better starting point, as confirmed by the driver from the Principality of Monaco. According to Charles Leclerc, Better handling will greatly help in expressing more substantial performance in long runs during the race. There are also good feelings regarding tire degradation where the new red car seems a big step forward for the Monegasque driver. Charles Leclerc, despite the comforting feedback, fears that Red Bull, the absolute dominator of last season, remains the benchmark for all competitors, while pointing out that his statements are based on his feeling, not looking at the lap times and data. An excess of caution or healthy realism on the part of the young Ferrari star? Similarly, the technical director of the red team, engineer Enrico Cardile, confirms that the data acquired on track so far is consistent with the simulations. We are talking about a fundamental factor to have a solid base specification that responds on track in an equivalent manner to what has been verified between the wind tunnel and CFD. The new chief technical officer of the Marinello team reports that the work program is proceeding smoothly and that the single-seater is responding as expected. The driver's feedback is also in line with the expectations of the Ferrari technical area. The Italian engineer confirms that in this phase of testing, it is very difficult to know where a single-seater stands. Nevertheless, in terms of comments from the drivers, everything is well aligned. The Prancing Horse's technical director admitted a certain relief after observing the behavior of the SF24, calling it a good starting point. Regarding Ferrari's expectations for the 2024 Formula One season, Enrico Cardil believes that the right path has been taken to compete at the top. This is despite admitting that Red Bull seems really fast. After so many seasons of deafening silence, it's really pleasant that Ferrari has a reference figure capable of providing technical impressions rather than hearing from a team principal who, due to professional background and role, hardly delves into the merit of the team's work.